this month. Not only are you able to get cardstock um, stamping blends and all those kinds of things, but you are also obviously a stamp pad as well. We pebble path, copper clay, moody mauve, and boho blue. So that that is our palette for the in colors. So what I was really excited about um, is that this pack of DSP arrived. So this is called the Let's Go Fishing 12 by 12. And you can see that we have um, lots of fishing elements, which is um, great because my family um, actually come from professional fishermen. So fishing is in the blood. So we have some rods. So you can see boho blue, wild wheat, <clears throat> excuse me, bit of a frog in my throat. So this one here, um, which is all these little flies. Now that one is mossy meadow. So you can see how all these colors kind of go together. We do have the boho blue again, and also misty moonlight. Little fish, very cute, great for cutting out, which we might do today. Um, and the other colors in this is the pecan pie, which is a newer color or a returning color, uh, very vanilla. Um, and there's a little bit of petal pink in there too, which is nice. Um, and, oh my goodness, these flies. Now, I think this is my favourite, maybe one of my favourite ones from the pack. Um, I really like this wavy one. But, of course, that's only one side. So, let me quickly show you the other sides. So, we have a lot of that neutral kind of... Um, I'll bring them up to the camera a little bit more. Neutral colours. A um, lot of that vanilla... A uh, bit of the greens, a lot of that um, pebble path, which is your greys and blue. Now, this one here is actually like wooden planks that are blue, but it really gives me the feel of denim. So if you are looking for a denim themed kind of um, paper, then the back side of this one is perfect. All right, so let's get started with our card. So let's assemble my card. So I've chosen a very vanilla base and it's just a standard base. Um, then to go on top of that, I have trimmed back a piece of Misty Moonlight and this beautiful wavy um, DSP background. And I have just made that, I don't know if you can see, so it's just a little bit of a border, hardly anything. So I'm gonna glue those down first using my wonderful Tombow glue. So let's pop this on here. I've just realised that kind of looks like a... Hmm, I need to go back and look at that one. It looks a bit like a um, map that you get when on a sounder, we call them in Australia. So when you go fishing, it tells you where the fish are underneath, um, underneath your boat. So I wonder if that's what it is. I'll have to go back and look later. All right, so I'll put that one down. I'm now going to put my Misty Moonlight. I always tend to do it in this order. Apply the DSP to its mat and then pop it on. And I um, do put a fair bit of glue on the back. Not lots each time, but enough to cover so that it does stick down completely. You don't want um, any of that lifting up. The next part I've got is that really pretty... Um, DSP that's got all the flies on it. Now that's the back side of it. I don't want that. I want this side. And it's simply going to sit here. I did hum and har about whether or not to add anything else. I just want it as an anchoring um, element on my card. And you'll see why in a second. Because I'm going to add yet another layer. So I'm going to pop this one on. And it's going to be just towards the bottom. Not quite all the way. Like so. Okay. The next part I'm going to do is this section here and it's going to be a little offset and it's going to pop on here. This is going to be where all of our elements go on. So before I stick it down, I will stick this one down. And I did also think about um, running that through um, my cut and emboss machine and possibly making it look, um, I don't know, textured somehow. But I didn't end up doing that. I just decided on that one. Now, this very vanilla piece, this is where my sentiment and most of my other um, elements, which I'm going to show you in a second, are going to go. Now, I didn't purchase the full suite of this. I really wanted it to go with all of my in-colour um, inks. That was my main purpose 
um, in purchasing just the DSP. So I got to make this card and went, what else, what um, sentiment am I going to use? So I'm bringing in the layering leaves, which actually has these beautiful little elements we're not using today, all these sort of leafy um, flower bud kind of elements that you can stamp, which have a matching punch. And you'll see that in another um, post that I'll put another time. Oops. But what I like about this one is it's got this speckled um, um, stamp here. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to sort of um, mirror when you go fishing and you, that um, lure goes into the water and you get those little bubbles that come to the surface. So that's kind of what, that's my aim. So I'm going to pop that on in a minute. But my first thing I'm going to do is actually use the Thinking of You sentiment stamp um, on my Very Vanilla with Boho Blue. That's not going to stand out tons. I've been known to also change my mind, but that's what I'm doing at the moment. So here's my thinking of you on a block. And we're just going to pop some ink on it. Now, I haven't used this one previously, this stamp. It's brand new. So I'm just going to ink it off on there just to make sure that there's no imperfections. And I am going to pop my sentiment right at the top. Mm, I think it might be on an angle like so. Let's hope that that comes out. It's always nerve wracking. There we go. Perfect. So thinking of you now to add in these little bubbles. So I'm going to use the same color boho blue. Oh, and I've just put that. That's okay. And I just want this to be light. So I'm going to ink up, I'm going to stamp off. Then I'm going to use just on the edge a little bit and just lightly press. Can you see that? Like it's just ever so slight. I'm going to add a couple more just for that. Like I said, that bit of a bubbles effect. And I'm just pressing ever so lightly. I'm going to go over the top of my little finger marks that I am terrible at always adding. Doing another stamp there. And I think that's enough. I don't want lots of it. I just wanted that feeling. I'm going to pop my ink pad away because now comes the fun part. Yes, this is going to go on there. And I'm just going to grab my... I'm going to grab my um, dimensionals, which hmm, uh, someone always eats my dimensionals on me. Here we go. You can't, luckily, you can't see the rest of my desk. But here are my um, larger dimensionals. I use a scalpel to apply them. So I'm going to pop this over. I'm going to add some dimensionals. I'll pop that one in the middle. All right. Now, so far, pretty, pretty plain, boring card. Yep, that's it. Now, before this goes on, I'm going to add some twine. Twine is, I guess, what I thought of when I thought of like fishing flies and things like that. Not that I'm a fly fisherman or fisherwoman, whatever you want to say, but I do want this element on my card. Now, a little trick. See how curly that is? I don't want it that curly. I'm going to lick my fingers. I know, just disgusting. But look at that. Just by applying a little bit of water or um like i said just lick your fingers it will straighten out a little bit and then you can do whatever you like with it so i'm going to cut that piece off now my trick always is tie a bow you get some really nice and it's sitting underneath this card so you're not going to see the bow it's not going to be girly girly with a bow not that that matters this is not necessarily a male card i'm just doing it um for a bit of fun doesn't have to be a perfect bow either like so i'm going to pop it up here coming out of one corner now i just got to make sure it's the right corner do i want it out of that one yes i do so this corner here and i'm going to add it with a glue dot just to make sure it stays there now before i do that i'm going to just add one more little piece that's going to add extra sticking out if that makes sense going to add that also to my glue dot it's probably hard to see can you see my glue dot there what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab again my scalpel yes i should have been a doctor no just kidding um and i'm going to take my glue dot i'm going to stick it in this corner so those elements do poke out from underneath and if you kind of squish down where that glue dot is it does hold those pieces more into place 
I'm going to pop this on our card now. Make a mess with all these little, I find these little things everywhere. Okay, popping it on. And like I said, I don't think, instincts tell me, do not put it on straight. So I'm going to put it on on a slight angle. Mm, which way will I go? That way? I think I might. Sort of makes more sense that way. All right, so I do want the, the Misty Moonlight cardstock to poke underneath, but it's like it's just been thrown down on the floor, just like you would a fish when you catch it, because you're ready to just get the next one on board. Okay, here's my fun bit. I did mention it earlier. I have done some fussy cutting. People who know me know I hate fussy cutting, but that's okay. I've chosen four little fish. Gorgeous. Don't ask me what sort they are, because I will get it wrong. I'm thinking perch, brim, that kind of like fishery um, kind of fish. So what I'm going to do is these ones are going to sit sort of in here. Now, this is tricky. So if they're sitting on here, they're going to have to have a little dot, unless they're all the way on and just a little bit's poking off, you're probably going to need to have a dimensional. So again, this is where your little dimensionals. So let's show a little size comparison. They're bigger ones. These are smaller ones. You can always cut any of these in half as well. So I'm going to add all of those to their tails. So let's flip them over. And they've got that gorgeous gingham kind of look on the back. And let's add some to the tails. I'm going to use all the little ones. I'm going to add just to the tail section. This one. And this one. This one. Ooh just fits look at that and the last one here as well again my scalpel is really easy because i get it in the right position and then i'm going to glue them on now i'm not going to necessarily have them all on there so i have a feeling they're not all going to fit <coughs> excuse me oh they are kind of cute like that and then this little fishy probably can come up here. I like it. So let's just add some glue. Now this one, I'm just going to pop it on there because I'm not quite sure exactly where it goes. Take your little backing off. And st Ooh, sticky mahon got stuck on my finger. All right, perfect. Now let's pop this one on. Bit of glue on the front. Take the sticker off, or the cover of the sticker off. You see, I should put that up and then let's get him in the right position like so. So his tail doesn't quite come off. Ooh, this one I might have a little bit poking up like so. A little bit of glue on there, stick it off and like so. And the last one down the bottom, a little bit on his front. And there we go. So it kind of gives the element that they are all heading up towards that. Um, I am happy with that. I, of course, am a bling girl. So I'm now starting to think, oh, what bling am I going to add? I'm just trying to find it. Here we go. Now, these are older. Um, they are the Subtle Shimmer Sequence. I'm actually not sure whether they're in the new catalogue or not, but that's okay. Any kind of um, sequence will do. And I'm just going to add a couple, again, to mimic that bubble element. I love the silver. So, oops. Um, try to put these sorts of pretty elements in, um, let me see, as odd numbers. Look at one there. And I try to group one or two. So, that's four. Um, one more here. Makes five. And usually I would use my um, take your pick tool because it's got a little um, bit on it that you can use. But today I'm just using my good old scalpel because that's what I've got. So I'm going to use these silver ones. I did just dip it ever so slightly into that glue just so you get a little dot on your um, on the end and it will hold on to anything that you want to pop on there like so push them down a little if they're not looking like they're sticking very well oops that one doesn't want to stick oh, help oh, there we go 
Okay. Hmm. Still not enough. I'm a bling girl, like I said. So let's add another one here. And hmm, another one here for sure. Maybe two there. Two little ones. Go in with the little ones. One. Two. Hmm, another little one up here. Okay. It doesn't want to come off. My little scalpel. That's better. Okay. Finished card, everybody. Didn't take long to do. A little bit of fussy cutting, really highlighting those blues and that element of being under the ocean and fishing. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, don't forget to pop on over to the other um, YouTube videos for our hop. Um, some great um, inspirational posts there um, using all of our um, in colors. Don't forget that the in colors, and if you don't have it, ask me and I will send them to you. But the in colors do have a little, um, we call them a color coach, but it's a cheat. So if you aren't sure, if you go, I've got wild wheat, what color will go with it to create a card? And it gives you three examples. So there's one for wild wheat, boho blue, copper clay, moody um, mauve, we call it, and pebble path. Now, I have printed them off just like I would a photo, so I can leave them with my inks and just grab them out if I need a little bit of inspiration. So again, thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and follow. Thanks very much.